Hello and welcome. This video will walk you through the basics of the SimSol interface, along with how to set up your very first claim in SimSol. We've also created a free PDF guide to help you get started. Check in the description box below for the download link. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Before we create our first claim, we'll want to get more familiar with the various sections of the software. So starting at the top, this is where you'll find all of your main menu items, starting with Home, Filter, Claim, View, Tools, Maintain, Manage, and Help. Right now, you'll notice that many of these buttons are grayed out. That's because we really haven't gotten started yet. But you'll see as we start creating some files, these menu options will become enabled. Now, moving over to the left side of the screen, you'll see a section here called User Drawers. As we create claim drawers for the purpose of organizing our claim files, they'll be listed here. This main area in the center is where your claim grid will be. As we start creating claims, you'll see them populate in a list form here. To the right, you'll see your claim info panel. This panel will give you helpful information based on the claim you have highlighted in your claims grid. Finally, down here at the bottom left, you'll see a section called System Drawers. These drawers will always be displayed here and provide you different administrative views of all your clean files. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started by creating a claim drawer. This is the first thing that needs to happen before we can create any clean files within SimSol. To do so, I'll simply come up to the top here in the drawer section of the Home tab and you'll see that the new drawer button is enabled. I'll go ahead and click on that and it will display the drawer property screen. This screen gives us a chance to enter some details about the claim drawer that we like to create. Claim drawers are like filing cabinets. They're there so you can better organize your claims. Some people like to categorize by month, year, the stage of the claim they're in, and by claim type. It's best to organize based on your claim writing style. For this tutorial, I'm going to give this particular drawer a name that reflects the type of claims I'm going to keep stored in this drawer, so I'll call it my homeowner's claims. Once you have the drawer name entered, you can see the software will set the default pricing tables to the most up-to-date available. This is a great time-saving feature for you because it will ensure new claims you write will automatically pull from the most current pricing data. If you'd like to adjust this table for any reason to reflect a different pricing quarter or year, just select this button building DB to change it like so. All older pricing tables can be downloaded from mysimsol.com downloads. Another setting that will come in handy for you CAD adjusters, where maybe you'll be working in an area for a while and you know the pricings are going to remain pretty consistent for the duration of your work, Instead of having to enter in that information on every new claim, you can go ahead and set it here. So to get to this screen, I'll start by clicking on the Building Factors button in the top left hand corner. This pops up the Location and Markup Factor entry screen. This screen lets me set the default location of this drawer so every claim that gets created in this drawer will automatically use the location I provide here. First, select the state. In this case, I'm going to select Florida. I'll then pick a zip code that I want to be working in. And since SimSol only requires that I enter in the first three digits of the zip code to pick the city, I'll enter in 328. Here, I see Orlando. I'll select it by double clicking, and that brings over my material, labor, and equipment location factors for the Orlando area. Since I'm happy with those numbers, I'll go ahead and hit Done. Hit Yes to confirm, and I've now set the building location factor options. Remember, this is optional. Using these same methods, you can also set up the pricing table and location factors for your contents estimates. Setting up your drawer preferences is a great time saver, and a feature you really want to take advantage of when creating new claim drawers within SimSol. So I'm happy with my drawer properties, I'm going to go ahead and hit Done. Now my drawer has been created. You'll see it listed over here on the left-hand side under my user drawers. As I start to create more drawers, they'll compile in a list over here on the left-hand side of the screen. When I highlight a drawer, it'll show me all the claims inside that drawer over here on the right in the claims grid. 
Now at this point, I don't have a clean created, so that's what we'll do next. To create a new clean, I just need to go up to the top left of the screen, and in the Home tab, the very first option is New. I'll click on that. This will bring the Claim Setup Wizard screen up. The Claim Setup Wizard is a tool that lets me select the type of claim I'll be working on, and then it will present me with a series of screens that lets me fill out some basic information of the claim. For this example, I'm going to go ahead and select Homeowner's Claim. Upon clicking Homeowner's Claim, it presents me with a screen to enter in the file number. I'll enter in my file number for this claim, and I'll click OK. My claim is now being created, and up comes the first screen of the Claim Setup Wizard. All of the fields indicated here, with bold text, are fields that we'll want to fill out in order to make sure our file information is complete. They aren't necessary to continue, which means I can always come back and fill out this information once the claim has been created, but it's always best practice to get it done now. Okay, so now that the loss information is filled out, I'll continue with the Claim Setup Wizard by clicking Next. The next page that comes up is the Policy and Coverage Information screen. This lets me fill out the coverage information for this file. Again, it's best practice to make sure this info is filled out now, but if you need to enter or edit it at a later date, you always can. Once I'm done and I have the policy information filled out, the most important portion of this policy information screen would have to be the coverages down here at the bottom. I want to make sure my building, APS, and personal property coverages are filled out with the correct amounts. I also want to make sure that I have these checkboxes selected if there is a coverage. This will ensure an estimate is created for you to start working on. A tip I suggest is to use your tab key on your keyboard when navigating through the Claim Wizard. By using tab, these checkboxes will be checked automatically. Once I'm happy with the policy information, I'll go ahead and hit Next. The third screen of the wizard lets me select the building, APS, and contents databases that I want to use to write my estimates. Now, as you may recall, when we were in the Claim Drawer property screen, we set the default databases for this drawer. That's why all these fields are already filled out for us. And like I said before, that was a great time saver, because now all we have to do is simply hit Next. I'm now at the final screen of the Claim Setup Wizard, and I have some different options as to where I can navigate to from here. I'm going to select this option at the top to return to the Claim Grid. That way, I can show you how to manually access your claim once it's been created. So with that option selected, I'll come down here and click Finish. And just like that, you have successfully created your first claim. You'll see this claim listed in the Claims Grid currently residing in the Homeowner's Claims drawer. Now to access that claim, I can simply double click on it, or because it's currently highlighted in blue, I can click this button here to the left that says Show Highlighted Claims File. This button will bring me into the actual claim file. You'll notice that many of those menu options that we discussed before are now enabled because I'm now in a working claim file. Now that I'm in the claim, you'll notice on the left hand side that that section has changed. What used to show our claim drawers is now showing what's called the claim enclosure tree. The claim enclosure tree shows all of the different sections of the actual claim file. It contains our estimates, a place to do valuations, write reports, forms, sketches, import in our digital photos, attach documents, and add notes. Now, to get out of this claim and return to the claims grid, I'll go to the top, click Show Claims Grid, and that will return me back to the drawer view. You'll now once again see my homeowner's claim drawer on the left hand side, and my first claim that I was just in is highlighted in blue in the claims grid. And there you have it. Those are the basics of getting started with your very first claim file. Now in the next video, we'll get to know the claim closure tree and how to navigate and work on different sections of your claim file. Don't forget to download your free getting started guide below. And make sure to subscribe so you'll be notified of any future videos.